All right, class. Yes. All right, so we're starting a little bit later because someone got me off topic for some reason. Deja. You need this one? Okay. Anyone else need this one? Here you go. Come on down. And uh, you probably need this too. All right. So if you guys look, this is actually the notes from 4.1 to 4.4, that big packet I gave you. So we're on the back page right now. So the back page is page number 47. So it is going to be 47 here. So you're going to write the number on it. And then we're going to be able to put stuff into our notebook. And hopefully these things are going to be done. Now, right here, we're going to Eulerize a graph. If no Euler circuit exists, then we can Eulerize a graph by adding extra edges. Draw another line. The extra edges can only duplicate existing lines, and the goal is to end up with all vertices. Now, I want you to think about each of these vertices where each dot is a house. Each line is a road. And we're trying to make it to every single house. Okay? Trying to make it to every single house. So do you think I could just make a new road from one house to another? No, no, no. We're not going to do that. Okay. Take some time. We've got to go to the county, ask for permits, get some bids, you know, and, and look, you know, look around for a construction company to do it. No, we're just trying to go around to every single house. So we're going to go trick-or-treating in the rich neighborhood and trying to get those full-size candy bars. Yeah? All right, that's what I would do. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to Eulerize this. So I'm going to first start off with looking to see if this one is going to be Euler. So let's start counting. So I got two, this is three, two, and three. Is it possible to be Eulers? No, because. Yeah, there's two odd numbers right here, right? So that's that's good. That's good there. So now I know that I'm going to have to fix that. So what I'm going to do is, if when I try to, I'm going to start at A, go to B, D, C. Now, because in Euler, I know that I can only use every edge once, right? So our job is to try to use it only once. And now if I can't, I want the minimum number, the smallest number of lines here. So that means that in the roads, I'm going to backtrack to someone's house. So I'm going to take a road more than once. So I'm going to go someone's house and go back along that route. And that's what we're going to do here. So now I'm going to go here to here. The reason why I'm actually making it go this way so you can clearly see that I'm going this way on this. So this would be one, two, three, here's four. And then now I'm going to go back from B to C. So I'm duplicating that one, which is going to be a five, right? I'm going to duplicate these ones right here. That's why you see, you could see that there's two lines going there. And then my last one is going to be from C to A which is six, and if you remember, this is my start point, right? A Euler start and finish all at the same place. Jess? Yeah. Okay. Is that pretty easy there? Yeah. Yes, no, maybe? Please, speak, yeah. or forever hold your peace. Okay, so let's go through and do another one over here. So here's the same thing, but they started at A, and I don't like you know, the way that they did it, because it's already on there. I like the way I did it, because you can explain it as we go. And this is already there. Anyway, I like writing in red. That's why. So, hints for utilizing a graph. Add the fewest edges possible, okay? Because we gotta go get that trick-or-treat candies, right? 
Got to get those full-size Snickers bars or Twix. No? Do you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm normally like a Nestle Crunch. Reese's Pieces. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the pieces or just the Reese's peanut butter cups? Peanut butter cups. Okay, so anyway. But they're the full-size bags of candy. So, add the fewest edges because that means that's less we have to walk, right? Because we're walking and we're going through Halloween and less we have to walk. Fewest number of edges. Find the odd valent vertices. That means the edges, odd edges. So, at the vertices, remember, every edge going to it is referred to as a vertices. Or, I'm sorry, balance. Sorry. Every edge going to it is an is a valance. A valent. Keep saying it wrong. Anyway. But the vertices are the dots. And try to reuse the edge between them. If vertices are more than one edge apart, reuse multiple edges. Now, let's see. So I'm going to go through and start numbering this to figure out what we're going to have. So where we're going to have the problems. That's what I want to find out first. Where do we have the problems? So I'm going to look. I have 2, 2, 4, 3, uh, 2, 2, 4, 2, 2, 3, 4, 4, 2, 2, Two and two. So now I now know where the problems are, right? Because on the point X and the point Y, they both have odd numbers there, right? So that's going to mess it up. That's going to mess it up. So now this is what I want you people to try. Where should I add the new lines? Where should I go back over it? And I want you people to try this right now. And then there might be a prize in store for those people that actually are able to get this one. Yeah, you have it on your paper too, so you don't have to sit there and stare up here. So you could try it out there. Has anyone got any hints yet? Go ahead. Tell me where. Or do you want to come up and do it? Right here? Yeah. Where does it go? Right where? Here? Yeah, that's why I was, I was asking if you want to come up here for this. It's going to make life a lot easier. Anyone else? How about this? I will show you where one solution for this would be. One solution, but you people are going to have to do the Euler path on it by numbering it out. I'm going to show you wh where is going to fix it. So I'm going to go from here to here. Does that now have four? The X now has four, right? But over here, this two now has what? 
three. So what should I do? I, I got to fix the three over here now, right? Which is, so this is now at four, and now this is now at four, right? And so over here, this two is at three, isn't it? And so now I'm going to go from the two down to the four, which by doing that, this is now four, and this three now becomes a four. So that's one way of doing it. There is a couple different ways, but you do? Maybe. <laughs> All right, so this is what I want you people to do. You are going to find the Euler path for it. So wherever you're going to start, make sure you star that one, and you're going to do the Euler path. I'm not going to do it up here. Do you include those? Yes, that's one that fixes the, the Eulerized it. So it is now possible to have a Euler circuit. Now, let's look at this one right here. Let's look at this next one here. Because for my notes, I'm going to go through and start here. So let's go through and figure out where it's not going to work out. Over here, I have 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 3, Two, three, three, four, 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 and four. All right. Now, this one here, we have to Eulerize it to be able to get a Euler circuit. So I'm asking now, where do you think I should add some lines? Where should I repeat lines? Remember, you're not making new roads. You're only going to go back over an existing road. Even though that I, I did, I, I did make an arc from one to the other, but I was able to get it over an existing road. What you got? Where, anyone, where do you think my path should go? Huh? Are you saying from, but is there a road going from that three to that three? Say no. How about this? Oh, from that three to that three. I thought you were going up here. Oh yeah, so that three to that three, yes. So we're gonna repeat the line in between, right? Same thing here, same thing here, and same thing here. So by doing that, what did that actually do? That made them all have four around the outside now, right? So your job is to now figure out what the Euler's path is. Are we doing it on what? Yep, I am going to make sure everyone like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button because I'm going to stop the video here because I want everyone, even the people at home or those slackers that didn't come to class today, are going to go over this and do it themselves.